Cataract is a condition where the normal lens of the eye becomes opaque. In a normal individual, the lens is transparent. But as we age, the lens tends to become more and more opaque and it does not allow transmission of light into the eye. As I will explain you, this is the normal eye. And in this normal eye, you will see that this is the cornea, which is the front surface of the eye. And this is the lens of the eye. The lens of the eye is a transparent uh, tissue and it allows the light from outside to enter and fall on the retina and get focused on the retina. But as we age, this lens, it becomes opaque as a result of which we call you get a cataract. Normally, this is what the cataract looks like. It becomes a whitish structure and does not allow light to pass through the eye into the retina. There are different types of cataract. We have the cortical cataract where the opacity it is in the cortex of the lens. Then we have a pseudo, fascia, uh, pseudo exfoliation capsular cataract which is all around in the total lens and it does not allow any light to pass through. The other types of cataract we have is the nuclear cataract which is in the center of the lens and it causes difficulty in vision during bright sunlight. Also there is the posterior subcapsular cataract which is in the capsule of the lens. Similarly we get cataract in the very young or even at birth it is called as congenital cataract and congenital cataract occurs due to certain deficiency during pregnancy like rubella and which is an infection and certain vitamin deficiencies which result in formation of a cataract. There are different types of cataract. Firstly in the very at the time of birth we have the congenital cataract. The most common causes of development of cataract at birth are due to deficiencies in the mother during pregnancy and infection. The common infection what we see is due to rubella and the deficiencies are mainly vitamin deficiencies like vitamin D deficiency which causes cataract. Besides congenital cataract there are also developmental cataract due to thyroid problem and other problems like uh, uh, glucose deficiencies like diabetes and galactosemia. Besides this, cataract can also develop due to injury to the eye which is called as traumatic cataract. Due to pencil injury or any kind of blunt injury, cataract can develop. If there is a direct injury to the eye, like in India, in the rural areas, we find that bow and arrow injury very common and that results in cataract. The commonest form of cataract what we see in India is senile cataract or due to age and that occurs after the age of 50 to 55 years. Besides that, there are other metabolic disorders like diabetes which is one of the important causes of cataract. Some of the symptoms of cataract are difficulty in reading and that occurs especially during the night time or when the light is very dim. Also the uh, vision gets affected during the night and there is difficulty in night driving. In some types of cataract there is also diminished vision during bright sunlight or whenever there is light which is thrown on the eye directly during the night time. Some of the signs of cataract what we find as doctors is when the patient comes in he complains of double vision and difficulty in seeing both during the daytime and night. We examine the patient and as per what our examination is done, we advise him for cataract surgery.
this is the normal lens of the eye which becomes opaque and it is called cataract. This causes diminution of vision as a result of which vision is becoming unclear. The cataract which is the opacity in the lens is treated with micro incision surgery. In the olden days we were making a big incision of about 8 mm and removing the full cataract out and then taking stitches. Now the procedure is done through a very small opening of 2 mm so that there is no need for taking any stitches. The FACO emulsification probe which works on ultrasound technology is used to liquefy the cataract. Once the cataract is liquefied and emulsified it is sucked in the probe. A foldable lens is then implanted in the eye. This lens is made of special material of foldable type and the lens is folded and implanted through the same opening. The lens then unfolds inside the eye. This gives clear vision to the patient and recovery is very fast. Of late we are using a special lens which can get rid of the reading glasses also. This lens is called the multifocal lens. The multifocal lens is also used to correct pressed biopia in those above the age of 45 years and the patient need not wear any reading glasses. This is the multifocal lens implanted in the eye. A new advancement is the accommodative lens. The accommodative lens allows you to see for far and near without causing any side effects like glare and halos. This is a special lens called crystal lens which is implanted and it moves forwards and backwards with the movement of the ciliary muscle. Symptoms of cataract. The common symptoms of cataract are difficulty in vision both for distance and near. More so there is initially difficulty in seeing at night time whenever you do night driving or when there is dim light. There could be also difficulty in bright sunlight when the cataract begins in the center and that is in the case of central cataract. Sometimes there is also double vision and difficulty in seeing far objects especially when you go out for a movie or when you are seeing in dim light.